let's get ready to record some audio. Before you start recording, you should save your project. That's because we're going to be creating new audio files and we need to tell the computer where we want to store them on the hard disk. So I'll choose File and Save or Save As, it doesn't matter for this initial save. And I'll type in the name of my song. Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. You can change the settings in this panel relating to assets from the settings menu later and that's just what we're going to do in a moment. Let's go and quickly take a look at the saved file to see what a saved project looks like. So I'll go to my untidy home directory, my even more untidy music directory, then logic. This is a default folder where logic will save your projects. And as you can see, although I didn't explicitly create a new folder, logic has done that for me. It's created a folder, Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. Inside that folder, you'll see the actual logic project file itself with a handy thumbnail icon. As you can also see, logic has created automatically a subfolder called audio files. Logic automatically creates quite a few different subfolders as your project prog progresses and you add different assets, different files to it. Of course at the moment audio files is empty but as our project progresses it'll fill up with all the audio that we record or import into our project. Let's take a look at another older project of mine just to see some of the other files which can Logic can automatically create in the save folder. As you can see there's the audio files folder, bounces, which is a folder for saving complete versions of your track in an mp3 or WAV format that can be burnt to CD or sent over the internet etc. Project file backups are automatically created backups of your main Logic project file so that you can go back if you make a big mistake or if Logic or your computer crash. These are created each time you save so you've got your 10 previous saves. Logic may also create other folders depending on the settings that you choose for the project. Let's have a look at those settings now. Let's go into settings and then assets. This is where you can change your settings relating to where the assets of your project are stored. That word assets simply means the pieces of audio and the files that are being used in the project. I always leave these first two options checked. This means that if I import some audio into my project, the audio files are copied into the project folder. I'll show you what I mean. Let's bring in a piece of audio to our project. And I'll save the project. Now if I go back to the project folder, you can see that our piece of audio has been copied into the Logic Project Folder's audio file subfolder. Logic will always work with this copy from now on, keeping the original safe and making sure that if I want to edit this project on a different computer, all the files I need are contained within this one project file. I can also choose to copy EXS24 instruments to the project folder along with any samples they reference and the same thing with any samples I load into Ultrabeat, which is Logic's built-in drum machine. Likewise with Space Designer files, which contain information about reverbs, or movie files if you're scoring a film. For all these options though, you have to weigh up the pros and cons. Copying to the project file is safest, as it means there's less chance of losing files when you move between computers. On the other hand, you can save disk space by not copying everything. If you're only using Logic's own samples or impulse responses, it's often not worth copying them, as any other computer you work on with Logic is likely to have them. These options, like all the options in the Project Settings panel, 
only apply to the projects you're currently working on, and you might have to adjust them depending on whether you plan to use the project on another computer or whether you're using lots of non-logic standard samples. Overall, I'd recommend starting out with the settings that I've got here, but always think ahead depending on your plans for the project. Now we've got our project set up to save our assets in the way that we want, we're ready to record. 